Close sports balls are draft guru Michael Middlehurst Schwartz tells you the five guys you need to know ahead of April's draft that shined at the Combine and could become instant stars in the NFL. USATODAYINDIANAPOLIS, the annual NFL scouting combine has come and gone, once again shedding further light on how April's draft is likely to stack up. Mississippi State and Ole Miss both have two stars who are possible first-round picks in the NFL draft, former Bulldogs Montez Sweat and Jeffrey Simmons along with former Rebels DK. Metcalf and AJ. Brown. As always, there were significant surprises in Indy, both good and bad, but the dominant story, as expected, was the scrutiny surrounded Oklahoma QB Kyler Murray. The reigning Heisman Trophy winner didn't throw a ball or a run of 40 but showing up to have his height and weight clarified was more than enough to make him the star of the week. And perhaps the catalyst to shake the 2019 draft up entirely.1. Cardinals, Kyler Murray, QB, Oklahoma, by most accounts, the Heisman Trophy winner, won, the annual scouting combine without breaking a sweat, or even taking off his sweats by merely measuring 5 to 10, 207 pounds. New Arizona coach Cliff Kingsbury is obviously enamored of the thought of deploying Murray in his offense, and GM Steve Keim opened the door on his current quarterback's footing by saying, is Josh Rosen our quarterback? Yeah? He is right now, for sure, Rosen remains an excellent prospect, and potentially excellent trade bait for the rebuilding Cardinals, NFL Network reported Tuesday he's already on the trade block, but lacks the upside of the dynamic Murray, who has a better arm and is in a different universe athletically. And why make Kingsbury begin, adapting, his word, the offense to Rosen if Murray could be a plug-in play solution? All the buzz coming out of Indy suggests the cards are ready to make a quarterback switch. If not, they've begun building a billowing smoke screen around the value of their no. One pick, combine winners, losers, DK. Metcalf, Montez Sweat stand out among Packmore. 32 things we learned from the 2019 NFL Scouting Combine 2. 49ers, Nick Bosa, the Ohio State, still likely the highest graded prospect on many draft boards. He looked smooth in his first public workout since a core muscle injury ruined his final season with the Buckeyes. Bosa's combine numbers were actually slightly better than those of his brother Joey, the third overall pick three years ago and now a pro bowler for the Chargers. Nick Bosa could give the Niners a top-shelf outside-inside pass rush combo if teamed with DT DeForest Buckner.3. Jets, Quinn and Williams, DT, Alabama, given they have no second-round pick, the NYJ could be open for business here. However, they've also benefited in recent years when highly regarded talents like the L. Leonard Williams, S. Jamal Adams and QB Sam Darnold fell into their laps. That could be the case again if Quinn and Williams is sitting there at no. 3. He wouldn't necessarily solve the franchise's decades-long search for an elite pass rusher, but Williams and Willems could create so much chaos in the trenches that average edge players could really thrive under new coordinator Greg Williams.4. Raiders, Josh Allen, OLB, the Kentucky, Oakland coach John Gruden has offered some interesting views on pass rushers over the past six months. At the Combine, he touted production as a trait he values, and Allen has shown noodles of that with 31 sacks over the past three seasons, including 17 last year or four more than the Raiders generated collectively. At 6 to 5 and 262 pounds, Allen even projects as a bigger player than departed Khalil Mack and the kind of height, weight, speed prospect new GM Mike Mayag adores. 5. Buccaneers, Ed Oliver, DT, Houston, this is a tricky spot, especially with free agency yet to play out. For now, Tampa Bay's needs don't square well with the draft's premier prospects. New coach Bruce Arians, however, is adamant about finding a can't-miss blue chipper with a selection this high. If Oliver can truly gallop in as close to the second coming of two-time Defensive Player of the Year Aaron Donald, the Bucks shouldn't pass on the 6-2, 287-pounder, often miscast as a nose tackle in college, despite the resources GM Jason Licht has already poured into his defensive line. 6. 
Giants, Dwayne Haskins, QB, Ohio State, they can't pass on the opportunity to enlist Eli Manning's successor for a second straight year, right? GM Dave Gittleman might even need to consider a slight push up the board given teams like the Jets and Bucks could be motivated to move out of the top five. Haskins was highly productive in his lone season as the Buckeyes starter with a Big Ten record 50 TD passes, but he could definitely benefit from a redshirt year sitting behind Manning. Haskins, QB shows at NFL Combine he's much more substance than midfoot, ball fix, NFL news delivered to your inbox 7. Jaguars, Noah Fant, Tay, Iowa, there's definitely a cart before the horse rationale here, but with new OC John DeFilippo, Philly's QB coach two years ago, on staff and all signs pointing to the eventual arrival of Nick Foles, Jacksonville will definitely need to add juice to its stable of pass catchers. Fresh off running a 4.540 at the Combine, Fant could become the Jags' version of Zach Hertz, assuming elements of Philadelphia's offense become implemented here. Point eight. Lions, Rayshon Gary, the Michigan, getting a prized Wolverine would be nice from a local angle. Getting a scheme-diverse freak of an athlete for Matt Patricia and player who could prove an upgrade over to Ziggy Ansa if Detroit can synchronize the talent and production just makes sense. Point nine. Bills, TJ. Hawkinson, Tay, Iowa, how to help QB Josh Allen and RB LaShawn McCoy in one fell swoop? Take a multifaceted tight end who can produce big catches and big blocks with regularity. Point one zero. Broncos, Devin White, ILB, LSU, could they go quarterback again? Maybe, but 10 seems awfully rich given who's on the board and who's about to be on the roster, Joe Flacco. Why not give defensive-minded head coach Vic Fangio a weapon given the expected divorce from ILB Brandon Marshall? Point one one. Bengals, Andre Dillard, OT, Washington State, the offensive line was a major culprit in Cincinnati's second-half demise last year. Dillard would also allow Cordy Glenn to switch to the right side, where he's likely better suited. Point one two. Packers, Montez Sweat, the OLB, Mississippi State, one of the combined stars after blazing a 4.4140 yard dash at 6 to 6 and 260 pounds, a modern event record for a defensive lineman, a player with 22 and a half sacks over the past two seasons would be an obvious boon to Green Bay's pass rush. Point one three. Dolphins, Drew Locke, QB, Missouri, with Ryan Tannehill seemingly on the way out, Miami will need a young quarterback to build around amid its latest reboot. 14. Falcons, Christian Wilkins, DT, Clemson, Grady Jarrett is sticking around, but adding another star from Death Valley makes sense given Wilkins' intelligence, ability to create pressure and give Atlanta's front needed depth. Point one five. Redskins, Jonah Williams, OT, Alabama, be interesting to see what they do at quarterback during Alex Smith's recovery, Rosen seems like a more sensible alternative than drafting one of the remaining passers, but improving the protection up front will help whomever's throwing the ball. Washington loves tied alums, and Williams could be an option at guard or tackle. Point one six. Panthers, DeAndre Baker, CB, Georgia, Carolina has long relied on its front seven to protect its secondary, but it's time for reinforcements, especially in such a pass-heavy division and given this team's struggles with sub-packages. Point one seven. Browns, Jeffrey Simmons, DT, Mississippi State, he struck a woman while in high school and pleaded no contest to simple assault but was apparently a model citizen in Starkville. Last month, Simmons tore his ACL. He might be a top 5 pick with a clean resume, but his value here could be too tantalizing for GM John Dorsey, famous, infamous for acquiring gifted players with checkered pasts. Point one eight. Vikings, Jawan Taylor, OT, Florida, coach Mike Zimmer wants to run the ball and establish a tougher identity. Taylor fits those priorities. His acquisition would likely mean last year's second rounder, Brian O'Neill, would move to left tackle while Riley Reif kicks inside. Point one nine. Titans, Marquise Brown, WR, Oklahoma, the quicksilver cousin of Antonio Brown would be a better game-breaking complement to Tennessee WR Corey Davis than one of this draft's bigger wideouts. 
Steelers, Devin Bush, ILB, Michigan, all of their recent drama on the offensive side, yes, Kevin Colbert, drama, has overshadowed the ongoing need for a defensive playmaker in the middle of the field post Ryan Shazier.21. Seahawks, Byron Murphy, CB, Washington, at 5 to 11 and a newly rocked up 190 pounds, he still doesn't fit Seattle's corner prototype. But this overhauled secondary could still use more help.22. Ravens, Brian Burns, OLB, the, Florida State, OLB's Terrell Suggs and Zadarius Smith are both unsigned. Restocking the defense currently looms as a bigger priority than a receiver for Lamar Jackson.23. Texans, Cody Ford, OT, Oklahoma, Houston allowed the most sacks in the league, 62, and its running backs barely topped 4 yards per carry for the season. 24. Raiders, from Bears, Greedy Williams, CB, LSU, Oakland needs more beyond CB Garen Conley in coverage, particularly in a division where the ball's in the air so often.25. Eagles, Josh Jacobs, RB, Alabama, a violent runner who also catches the ball well, he'd be a boon to a 28th-ranked running game that produced 91 yards total in Philly's two playoff games last season.26. Colts, DK, Metcalf, WR, Mississippi, he was built built himself, to shine at the Combine, but Metcalf's side-popping physical attributes didn't amount to much college production. But his 4.3 speed and massive frame, 6-3, 228 might make him an ideal foil to T.Y. Hilton.27, Raiders, from Cowboys, A.J. Brown, W.R., Mississippi, Metcalf's teammate in Oxford, Brown put up far more impressive numbers, 160 catches, more than 2,500 yards over the past two years, for the Rebels and could fill the void in Oakland left by the Amari Cooper trade.28. Chargers, Dexter Lawrence, DT, Clemson, a virtual human roadblock the Bolts could use his girth between Day Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram with DT's Brandon Nibin and Corey Legit poised to move on.29. Chiefs, Clayton Farrell, the Clemson, with Kansas City switching to a four-man front and franchised pass rusher D Ford being peddled, according to multiple reports, more pass rushers will be needed for new coordinator Steve Spagnolia's signature NASCAR packages.30. Packers, from Saints, Irv Smith Jr., Tay, Alabama, incumbent Jimmy Graham doesn't appear to have much tread left, and Smith should develop into a more complete tight end at any rate.31. Rams, Garrett Bradbury, C., North Carolina State, with C. John Sullivan on the way out of town and L.G. Roger Saffold possibly following, the NFC champs might suddenly have two holes on the O-line.32. Patriots, Jerry Tillery, D.L., Notre Dame, he's long, 6-6, 295, talented and smart. Sounds like a Patriot to me, especially with D.L. Trey Flowers, Danny Shelton and Malcolm Brown all set to go free, asterisk 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 follow Nate Davis on Twitter at Binatenevis if you love talking football, we have the perfect spot for you. Join our new Facebook groups The Ruling Off the Field to engage in friendly debate and conversation with fellow football fans and RNFL insiders.